Hey everyone, it's Kate, and today I'm going to share my tips and tricks for sewing with rayon. Rayon can be scary because it's more slippery and drapey than cotton, but it's not that hard if you treat it right. Today I'm going to talk about washing, cutting, marking, interfacing, sewing, and hemming rayon. So first off, washing rayon. Rayon does not like to be wet, so after you clean it, don't hang it to dry. You want to throw it right in your dryer and it will be much happier as soon as it's dry. If you hang it to dry, it will get a little, I almost want to call it crispy. It's, it stays super wrinkly if it dries slowly. But if you dry it in your dryer, it will soften right up and be lovely. Here's what I do with my rayons. I wash them and dry them in the machine before I cut them out. And after I sew my garment and wear it a few times, I take it to the dry cleaners because I love ironing while I'm sewing something, but I do not like ironing things after they're made. And I also want to look fabulous. So I do take it to the dry cleaner. You can continue to wash it and dry it in your machine if you want to. It doesn't get too wrinkly, but you do need to touch it up with an iron, I think. All right, I'm going to head over to the overhead in a second and talk about cutting out rayon, marking it, and interfacing it. So let's head over there. I like to cut out rayons in a single layer because, because they're drapier and silkier than cotton, the underneath layer can get a little bit off grain. And because I like to cut them out in a single layer, if there's ever a pattern piece like this yoke piece that is supposed to be cut on the fold, I'll trace it so that it is a double piece and I can cut it out in a single layer. If there's a right sleeve and a left sleeve or a right leg and a left leg, I'll cut out, I'll cut it out once right side up and then I'll flip the pattern piece over and cut it upside down so that I have two opposite sleeves and legs. Um, I have two favorite interfacings when I'm using rayon. One is our extremely fine fusible woven stay tape. Um, it comes in a number of colors and um, widths and I'm using the black one here just so you can see it, the half inch black. It is great for shoulder seams because shoulder seams across the bias are almost on the bias and they can really stretch out. But the extremely fine fusible woven stay tape is truly extremely fine and you just iron it on. It doesn't add stiffness or bulk to your fabric, but it does keep the shoulder seams from stretching out. I also really like our Palmer Fletch Perfect Fuse Shear Interfacing, and I like to block fuse it. The shear is great because, at, once again, it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the rayon. It allows the rayon to continue to drape, but it does add structure. And what I mean by block fusing is I cut out a piece of fashion fabric a little bit bigger than the pattern piece. I cut out a piece of interfacing approximately the same size. I fuse them together and then I lay my pattern piece on top and cut it at, them both out at the same time pre-fused, which is really nice because then you're not trying to fit a slippery fabric with a slippery piece of interfacing and iron them together. I, whenever I remember, I really like to use the block fuse method. Another important thing to get ready to sew your rayon is to stay stitch all of the curves because even more than cotton, rayon can stretch out along the bias along and um, along a curve. Um, this is a neckline and I like to directionally stay stitch when I'm with rayon for sure. And that means that I start at one shoulder and stay stitch down to the center and then start flip it over and start at the other shoulder and stay stitch to the center. 
Um, if you start at one shoulder and go all the way to the other, you could kind of accidentally stretch things out. And um, so it's always smart to go from shoulder to center and shoulder to center so that your neckline doesn't stretch out. Okay, now I'm going to talk about needles, thread, and stitch length. Um, Thread is easy. I use our polyester sew all thread with rayon. It's worked well. My garments have lasted and um, I think it's just fine. In case you missed it, on Wednesday, we had a guest on our video series. We had Rhonda from Schmidt's Needles and she taught us so much about needles. You should go check out that video um, if you missed it. But one of the things she told us about was Schmetz has a phone app that you can download and the app teaches you all about the anatomy of a needle and all about the Schmetz color coding system, which is super handy. And it also you can look up a fabric and see what needle Schmetz recommends you use with it. So I looked up rayon and it said to use a universal 7010 or a universal 8012. The rayons I'm using for this demo are pretty lightweight, so I decided to try the 7010 and I was really happy with the stitches. I also experimented with different tensions on my machine, different stitch lengths, and having my dual feed on and off, which is something I always do when I start sewing with a new fabric. Um, I found that the um, turning down the tension a little bit to about 3.25 down from five-ish five -ish, um, helped. I also used a stitch length of 2.4 millimeters and I did engage the dual feed. Let's go back over the overhead and I'm gonna show you, um, try to show you what the dual feed does. So I have these two pieces of rayon that I just, I just folded them in half. I didn't press them at all and um, experimented sewing without the dual feed engaged and with the dual feed engaged. And hopefully you can see that without the dual feed engaged, it just, you can see that the two, the underneath fabric fed through at a different rate than the top fabric and it just got kind of wrinkly and wavy. Um, and then with the dual feed engaged, it turned out much smoother. If, so if you have dual feed on your machine, you should engage it. And if you don't, you might wanna consider buying a walking foot because it's really helpful with fabrics like this and also with knits to make sure that the top fabric and the bottom fabric are feeding through at the same rate. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about my method for hemming knits. I mean, not we're not talking about knits, we are talking about rayons. I'm gonna talk about my method for hemming rayons and it's very similar to my method for hemming knits, but because they tend to, rayons can shift and move, I really like to stable and I'm, going to show you how I would do a one inch hem. And once again, I'm going to pull out my extremely fine fusible woven stay tape in half inch. I'm using the black so you can see it. So I iron on the stay tape right to the edge of my fabric and then press it up a half an inch. And you can kind of feel where the stay tape is and it makes it even easier to press it up. And then I grab some of our double-sided fusible stay tape. So this is um, kind of a glue and it will wash out over time. And I like to use the quarter inch version because it just doesn't leave quite as much glue on your fabric. But I, I iron it to the edge that I just created and the double-sided stay tape has a piece of paper on one edge so you can iron on the paper and then I press it up one more time to get the crease in and then I open it and remove the paper and 
glue it down with heat. And so I have a beautiful hem really held strongly in place and I can make sure that it looks nice on the right side. And then I do one more step, which is I do a quick hand running stitch from the wrong side right along the fold. And then it is thread marked on the right side. So when I top stitch from the top, which is what I like to do, I can see the running stitch and just sew right along it and make sure that I am catching the hem on the wrong side. So rayon is really an intermediate fabric in between cotton and silk. And it's a great fabric to challenge yourself with. <clears throat> we have a ton of gorgeous rayon prints on the website. And I'll include a link to them in the description, of course. Um, and if you make something out of rayon, post it to our Facebook community. That is where I hang out. And I would love to see what you're making. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the question area connected with this video and also in the Facebook community. So thanks so much for watching and bye for now.